Greetings everyone. This is my first post bag. I've got three things here. This one's from Banggood. Uh, one of these is from LCSC and the other one is from PCB, JLC PCB. These are for the Honest STM32 boards. And full disclosure, this one came to me from Banggood as a product review. Seems to be coming in at about the right time, considering that I'll be needing to use it to assemble these boards. So I'll open this one first. We have here a Gong Wei electronic tools. It's the 110 volt AC model GJ8018LCD. Portable temperature control hot air gun. There's not a whole lot to this one. We got a lovely manual which oh there's the English so we've got the gun stand various nozzles I guess this is a uh a stress relief. Got a toggle switch, hard on off, uh, airflow for the fan, and then we've got the heater. So I guess this must be the temperature. We have different size tips here. I'll probably end up using this one. It's got a pretty... Yeah, so we've got three different size tips. Pretty good, pretty small. And then we got two really large ones. I'll go ahead and plug this one in. We'll see how loud it is. Not bad. Pretty quiet. Even at uh, full full volume or full fan speed, it's uh, pretty quiet. Doesn't blow a whole lot of air, but I guess it's probably yeah, it's enough. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see what the hottest it can get to. Oh, it's definitely ooh. Yeah, it's starting to be un uncomfortably hot. At about a foot or so. So we're up to 400 degrees Celsius. 440. Yeah, it's definitely 500 degrees Celsius. wonder how hot this actually gets. That'd be a good idea to use the stand. Oh, wow. I'm assuming this was in Fahrenheit. I mean, in Celsius. Maybe that's in Fahrenheit. It does say 450 degrees Celsius. 
But we're definitely higher than that. That must be in Fahrenheit. So we're stabilizing at about 700 degrees, 710-ish Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's definitely got some heat to it. All right, well, turn the heat down on that and I will let it cool. And then we will get into the second bag. I love these packages that come from overseas. I never get these types of packaging from over here in the United States. Okay, so we got JL's PCB first. Now these are my first set. These are just the prototypes just to make sure that they look like they're supposed to. Um, pretty decently packed. Now the first time I got PCBs from JLPCB, they didn't come in this vacuum sealed pseudo bubble wrap kind of stuff. They were just, had a bunch of uh, rubber band wrapped around them and then wrapped with several layers of uh, bubble, rate, bubble tape. So it looks like they are, have upgraded. Alright, so just rip into these and give these a good look. So they actually look pretty good. Now this is the double-sided version of the of the Honest STM32 F103C boards, and it looks like it's in pretty decent condition. I don't see any oddities with the uh, the way that looks. Alright, and I guess that's not going to work. I need to do it this way. Here we go. And we'll zoom. Give you guys a closer look as well. Get right down in there. And we'll take a good look at this. So after a few minutes, I noticed that it was that the camera stopped recording. So the parts that you missed was that I had actually broke these in half to make sure that the V-score was deep enough. The traces on these are actually fairly decent. Um, from what I can see, there is not any issues with any traces overlapping. One of the big things I was worried about was the labeling to make sure that they were actually the right size. Um, let me see here. Zoom this down. Maybe. Oh, doesn't look like it's going to... Oh, well. Let's 
So on to this next part. I had already opened it before I realized that the uh, page or the camera had stopped recording. So here's the parts from the LCSC. Make sure that we actually got everything here. Lots of components. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And okay, so here's the USB ports. Oh, that's a blue LED. Here's the 32.768 kilohertz resonator. And this one is ceramic capacitors. Tiny. These are all 604s on top of that. There's some more ceramic capacitors. This one is the red LEDs. Some more capacitors. Some header pins. This one is the resistors, 200 ohm or 20 ohms. Some more capacitors. Low dropout regulators. This is the LDO. So that's how we're going to get our 3.3 volts. Chip resistor, service mount, 100K. More capacitors. Here's the buttons. Oh, I just noticed I was probably not in frame with all those. So here's the push buttons for the reset. And here is the 8 megahertz pro um, crystal. more resistors, 510 ohms, or is that mill ohms? Nope, that's kill ohms. Some more resistors, 1 mega ohm, some capacitors, then we have some more resistors, and this one is the granddaddy of them all. This right here is the brains. MC, MCUs, SDM32, believe I got five of these this time around, yes. Now I wish they would have been in something a little bit better than this, not exactly happy on that. So I won't be going in there touching them right now. I don't have my tweezers in here at the moment. <clears throat> but these are the genuine chips. Let's see here, can we get it actually? No. So I'll be putting five of these boards together and then I have an external guy who will be testing these boards to make sure that it has no crosstalk on the on the traces Considering he's got the scopes and the, the RF scanner and whatnot. So that is the mail post bag for today. 
And then in the next video, I will be doing the soldering work on one of those boards. Till then, thanks for watching. Bye.